Hello, 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 and welcome once again to Movies That Pop. I'm the Colonel. Let's see what popped up in theaters this week. Moana is the latest animated musical to come from Walt Disney Animation Studios, and it carries that particular torch admirably and with style. With catchy songs co-written by Tony Award winner Lin-Manuel Miranda, some fine vocal performances by Dwayne Johnson and newcomer Auli Cravalho, and some of the most beautifully rendered CG animation to date, Moana provides enough laughs, thrills, and tunes to satisfy the entire family. The latest in a trend, after Frozen and Tangled before it, of Disney princesses with magical powers. What's up with that? First healing powers, then wintry powers, now we have Moana with the power to communicate with the ocean. Ooh, meaning she talks to it in a sort of sentient form, and she can manipulate it most of the time. You know, except for one major instance near the movie's end, where it would have been really, really great to create sort of a Moses-like wall of water in order to get an important job done. But hey, why split hairs? It's a fun character trait, and it adds some novelty to the fairly standard coming-of-age quest tale. That tale is the story of an island called, uh, let's see, Matunui? Matunui? Hmm, okay. Uh, well, whatever. It's a Polynesian paradise whose people, led by Moana's father, are afraid to leave due to the dangers of the ocean beyond. Moana is being groomed to be the tribe's next chief, but feels the call of the ocean, sometimes literally, as I previously mentioned. You see, the island is dying, and the reason for this has to do with a sacred stone, the heart of Tafiti, which was stolen a thousand years ago by the prankster demigod Maui from a goddess who is the giver of all life and which has made its way into the possession of Moana's grandmother. Now, according to prophecy or legend or something, Moana must travel to find Maui, then journey with him to this island and put the stone back where it belongs, and that will bring life back to the land. You got all that? Well, good, because the story is the only weak spot of Moana. Part of another trend of these recent Disney princess movies, the strong motivation and story setup is always kind of weak. Remember Rapunzel? Her entire adventure was kicked off by simply wanting to get a better look at a floating lantern's display. Frozen had Anna chasing down her sister Elsa to try and get Elsa to do something that she didn't even know how to do. Now we have Moana, who has to go through multiple different story beats, including discoveries, songs, and a major death, in order to set her on a relatively simple quest. After all, all she needs to do is to go grab Maui, and then go return the stone to its rightful place. Except she could just skip the getting Maui part because she starts out the story with the stone in her pocket. So why does she even need Maui? The logic doesn't uh, quite work. You want to know what does work in this movie? Literally everything else. While the story suffers from too many unnecessary beats, all of those beats are entertaining ones, starting with Dwayne Johnson's Maui character. He's a bit of a douche, to be honest. Vain, selfish, but he's visually interesting, funny, and has a great song called You're Welcome. So what can I say except you're welcome For the islands I pull from the sea There's no need to pray, it's okay You're welcome and his tattoos are characters in and of themselves. Plus, you've got some amusing detours to a place called Lato... 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 Te, the Realm of Monsters, okay? It's just the Realm of Monsters. Moving on. Plus, there's a run-in with these tiny but vicious pirates who are awfully fun, and a stirring female empowerment power ballad that reprises again and again to wonderful effect, and an ending that pulls out all the stops when it comes to eye-popping pyrotechnics. No love interest? No clearly defined villain to speak of? Hey, no problem. Moana's got you covered if you're looking for entertainment value. Moana is the latest demonstration of Disney magic, the kind that creates fantastical worlds out of real-life places like the fjords of Norway, jazzy New Orleans, turn-of-the-century London, and the jungles of India. Now that magic has created a delightful home in the geography and culture of the Pacific Islands, and Moana helped to make that overall world of Disney just a little bit wider on the map. I award Moana a large bag of popcorn. While it's not truly as original or as dazzling as the best Disney features of late, like Frozen, Moana will still take you on a fun and delightful journey to fantastical places with fun characters while you tap your feet to the music the whole way. That does it for this edition of Movies That Pop. Don't forget to follow me, the Colonel, on Twitter at Movies That Pop. Click the icon right down there to visit our channel if you'd like to see more, and support us by clicking subscribe while you're there, and by clicking the thumbs up icon below. I'd like to hear your thoughts on Moana, and how it stacks up against the other animated films in the Disney canon in the comments as well. Let me know! Tell me all about it, please! In the meantime, thanks for watching, I'm the Colonel, and thank you!